Okay, this morning you guys during Think Math, we're going to solve an addition problem as many ways as we can, but the biggest focus I want us to work on is adding numbers with the number line, okay? So we're going to do an addition problem for our Think Math today. We're doing three digit, um, three digit numbers because that's what our standards say you need to be able to do by the end of second grade. Here's my first number. 463 plus 512. When you think you know the answer, please put your thumb in front of your heart. Then if you think you can solve it using base tens, number line, if you think you can solve it using expanded form or partial sums, I want you to add your fingers as you try solving them in the different strategies. Michael, what do you think the answer might be? 975. Anyone else have a different answer? If so, put your thumb in front of your heart. If you have the same answer as him, put your hands down. What's your answer? 985. Anyone else have a different answer? Trent, do you have a different answer? 975. Do you have a different answer? Do you have one of these answers or a different answer? One of those answers. Okay, good. Anyone else have a different answer? You have a different answer, Michaela? Okay, so we're going to solve this one using that number line first. What is my steps in using a number line for adding? First step is to do what, Peyton? Okay, so I need a number line. But what do I do before, before we even worry about the number line? Circle the highest value. Which number is the higher value, um, Miles? 512. Great, thank you. 512. I've circled my higher value. Now I label my second number. Hundreds, tens, and ones. Is it okay that I um, circled the second number and not the first number? No. It's not okay? You yeah. Add, you yeah, it's okay. I don't have to do anything. It doesn't matter in addition if the hundreds number that's bigger is second or first. In addition, it doesn't matter which. I need everyone to please pay attention. Okay, so 512 starts here. Now, I labeled my numbers H4, 400, 400, 400. T4, and 0 or O4. Three what? One. Three ones. So let's start with which number are we going to do first? The ones, the tens, or the hundreds? Hundreds. Hundreds. Okay. So how many hundreds jumps? Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Each of these blue ones are the value of how many? Hundreds. Good. So we have four hundreds jumps there. Now what do I do? Samia? You put Six tens jumps. Okay, because my number line is not very long and I have a lot of jumps, my jumps are going to be different colors. Plus, that helps me keep organized. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Plus 10, plus 10. Okay, this is where I'm going to change my numbers from tens. This means I go from hundreds to tens here. Now I go to ones. How many ones jumps, um, Jacob? Um, three. Three. Let's do those with red. One, two, three. Now, what do I do? Oops, I forgot to label my jumps. That's going to be important, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so if I add this up right, our jumps say 430, 463, right? 100, 200, 300, 400, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 80, 60, 460, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 112 plus 100 equals 612. 612. Good. 612 plus 
100, that means the 6 is changing again, equals 712. 712, I'm changing the 7, or the hundreds place, good, plus 100 equals 812. And I'm still on the hundreds, thanks Miles. 812 plus 100 is 912. 912. What do I do now, Jacob? You you change it. You go, now you plus 10. Now we're plusing 10. So which number is going to change, Nathaniel? The 2, the 1, or the 9? The 1. The 1 column. The, the 1 changes. It's in the 10s column, though, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so 912. Plus 10 equals what? 922. 922. Because we know that the 9 stays the same. And the two change the 1 changes to a 2. But now I've got two two twos. Which 2 is going to change going forward? Um, Zamia? The second 2. The second 2? No, the first 2. First the 2, second 2. The middle one. Okay? Good. 922 plus 10 equals 932. 932. Oops, Miss G's confusing herself. 932. I'm going to make the lines go down long. That's the problem. Okay, 932 plus 10. 900. The 3 turns into a 4. And the 2 stays the same. Okay, 942 plus 10, 952, 952, the 5 changes, 952 plus 10 is 962, and 962, the 6 changes, what's my next number? 972, 972, now, we have it in a rectangle. That tells me that it's changing to one. the ones. It's changing the values of the jumps now. Am I going to change the nine, the seven, or the two? two. Why am I turning the two this time? Because the one. And the two is in the one place. Two is in the ones place. So, 972, we're changing the two. 972 plus 1 is 971. 3. 3, because we're adding, right? 973 plus 1 is 974. Changing the 4. 975. Great job. The answer is 975. Both of the people that made guesses yeah, made good right. guesses. They only had a difference of their tens place. That was a really good job.